Okay, this is the Cardo SmartSat app. It's uh, originally for changing your settings uh, and a quick way of doing it on the fly so that you don't have to plug in the computer and do it via the Cardo community. Now, I just updated the software on my G9X to version 1.5 and that allows it to interface with this. So if you're having a hard time Hello, having it free. interface, then update the software on your G9 or G9X and check it again. Now, it's already paired with my phone. Once it uh, remembers my phone, then we should see this app come to life. Mobile phone. One. Connected. Perfect, and now the app is connecting. Great. So in the past, like I was saying, you could change all of your settings, which you can still do now, but the exciting part, I think, is that you can now use this as a remote control. For instance, if I want to do FM. Literally just turn on the FM radio in the helmet. Now, this auto-tune thing is a cool option. If I hit that, that's going to load. Now that's the six strongest stations from around me. And you can imagine if I had this phone bar mounted, I don't have, you know, I can still use the voice commands, I can still use uh, the buttons and all that stuff, but this just offers a really cool alternative. It's a, it's a remote control. So let's turn that off. Actually, no, we can go to here. Say we pulled up the intercom button. This is only paired with somebody on its A channel. So again, I can use the voice commands and say call intercom, or I can hit the A button, or now I can tap A, and that will go to intercom with that person. Same with click to link, same with one plus eight. Fem radio, I'll turn that off. Now music, that's music on your phone. If I want to share that with my passenger, <clears throat> I can activate music share from here. Music scan, self-explanatory, skipping tracks. Say I wanted to change the volume. This part I wouldn't, I would just use the buttons for, but that gives you an idea of what you can actually do from this mobile application now. And phone, same thing. Voice dial, hot uh, hot dial, redial, and these empty slots, those are if I loaded it with more hot dials. So you can have up to four different people that you just tap their profile on your now remote and it takes care of that. Past that, your device. Spoken status announcements, that's if you want it to talk to you. Vox activation is activating the microphone with your voice. Vox sensitivity is how likely it is to be activated. So right now it's on medium. If it was activating too easily, I would set that to low and, uh, and you know the opposite for high. Vox operation, when the G9X and the G9 come brand new, they come with vo uh, voice command activated already. If I wanted to change that to act like a more traditional intercom, I could set that to call intercom. Hit save. Now when I go to speak into the mic, it'll just go straight to intercom, much more like a traditional intercom, and I can change that back later. AGC is just auto gain control. Let me turn the music down. Auto gain control. Um, all of the Scholar Rider stuff comes with self-adjusting volume. Uh, right now it's set for medium. If I set it to high, then it would be more inclined to raise the volume for me. If I set it to low, it would be more stubborn and, uh, and so forth. Click to link is another feature. Uh, IC to phone, that's intercom to phone when you're using your one plus eight buddy list. And then A2DP IC priority, that's what's more important, listening to music or an intercom. And that'll choose your priority settings for that. Connectivity shows you what phones are set up to it. This is where you can physically type in your FM presets. And this is your volume per channel. So you can change these all to what you want them to have them be. And that's it. That's the new app. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye-bye.